what are the utility of electrophoretic pattern of plasma proteins okay plasma proteins to detect disease okay you you think there is some disease or disorder in a person how the plasma protein electrophoresis can help you how plasma proteins can help you to diagnose some disease or disorder so that is how we are going to see now okay you can diagnose various diseases using the simple pattern i told you what is electrophoresis you are separating the plasma on electrophoretic sheet it can be cellulose or agarose sheet okay negative node positive node when you apply here the serum sample it starts migrating and you will see particular plants al albumin alpha 1 alpha 2 beta and gamma okay gamma is written broader this is albumin band alpha 1 alpha 2 beta and gamma portion so you will see this separation same thing this is thick because it is high concentration you can have the graphical representation electrogram okay for electrophoretic gram the albumin will come at all wave because the concentration of the albumin is very high the area under the curve will show how much is the concentration of albumin albumin then second band is alpha 1 third band little peak because the concentration is higher alpha 2 beta is also similar sometimes beta will have a notch because sometimes on separation we can see beta 1 and beta 2 but in total we take it as beta and gamma portion is little broader okay it is little broader so this is the gamma portion so if what we did we have just converted this band form or separated thickness of the color into a graphical representation of protein so this is negative node this is positive node this is called as electrophoretogram we are converting the picture or the bands into a photic gram okay on a sheet with having the wave pattern and area under the curve will tell you how much is the concentration of this protein it will show how much is the concentration of that protein if it is small then the concentration has reduced if it is large then concentration is high so that's how you are going to interpret so this is about the electrophoretogram this is the to tell you again this is the normal pattern okay this is the normal pattern of electrophoretogram or electrophoresis now we'll see one by one how you see in different disorders okay first one say about how you see in the nephrotic syndrome okay how you see in the nephrotic syndrome what is happening in nephrotic syndrome is like if you see this is a normal pattern albumin alpha 1 alpha 2 beta and gamma okay albumin alpha 1 alpha 2 beta and gamma if this is the normal if this is the normal pattern in nephrotic syndrome i told you lot of albumin is excreted in the urine so what happens to concentration of albumin it starts reducing because protein is less globulin concentration also decreases in exchange one protein concentration starts increasing that is the alpha 2 macroglobulins so when you see on electrophoresis what we'll see instead of that all the albumin will be less okay normally it should go up to here normal pattern should be like this but the concentration of albumin is reduced alpha 1 alpha 2 becomes tall okay alpha 2 concentration increases this is the gamma so this is the gamma the gamma also reduced so albumin is reduced alpha 2 is increased and gamma globulin also decreased so when you see on electrophoresis this kind of pattern and you test for next what you will do with the patient you test his urine sample you will see there is lot of positive for the albumin the urine excretion of the albumin is very high if you see visibly also the protein uh, the protein in the urine can be seen as turbidity okay you can see urine is not clear it's a little turbid and if you do urine district method or estimation of the urine proteins then definitely it is very high okay that is about the uh, electrophoretic pattern on nephrotic syndrome how you can identify the nephrotic syndrome now second one like say about person is having chronic liver disease i told you 
liver is the only organ which is inside the albumin. So whenever there is uh, liver damage or liver uh, cirrhosis, the concentration of the albumin starts decreasing. One of the function of albumin is osmotic activity. Okay, osmotic activity. To compensate this, who is helping now is gamma globulins. Gamma globulin concentration increases to compensate the osmotic activity of the albumin, which is actually reducing. So when you see on pattern, normally it should be this high. Okay, normally if it is this high, it has reduced. Alpha 1, alpha 2, beta is normal, but gamma portion is broadly increased. Normally it should be this much. So albumin reduced, gamma portion is increased, which you see in the chronic liver disease. Okay, you see in the chronic liver disease, the increase in the glo globulins, that is the gamma globulins, to compensate the decrease in albumin. Because albumin is synthesized only in the liver. If liver is not functioning, there is no albumin at all. So that you see in the chronic. Next is one of the important utility of Electrophoresis is to detect one uh, cancer condition that is a multiple myeloma, which is the cancer state of the plasma cells. Now, plasma cells mainly synthesize immunoglobulins. So, what you will see in this kind of pattern is a specific band is seen. We call it as specific band is seen. We call it as young band or monoclonal band. A specific band is seen on the electrophoresis in the patients who are coming with this cancer. Now we all know, if we take this as a pattern, this is the albumin, alpha 1, alpha 2, beta and gamma. So this is a normal pattern of albumin, alpha 1, alpha 2, beta and gamma. So gamma portion is all immunoglobulins. Immunoglobulins will form all, like for example, Ig, say about IgA is a little faster, IgM, IgE and IgG. They all form this doom shape of structure. Now in a specific pattern, this is the argument, alpha 1, alpha 2, beta, and you will see like this pattern. This is the argument, alpha 1, alpha 2, beta. In gamma portion, you will see look alike with the albumin. Similar to albumin, you will see a band in the gamma portion, which we call as M band or monoclonal band. Why we call monoclonal? Because immunoglobulin, gamma portion is polyclonal. It contains IgG, IgM. IgE and IgA. Here, there is specific type of immunoglobulin which is excessively synthesized. Like say about all are equally synthesized initially. That's why it got doom shape. Now say about particular immunoglobulin, IgM, is making 90% of total. So this is IgM, you imagine. So there is specific monoclonal or specific immunoglobulin concentration is high in the blood. That is mainly seen in the multiple myeloma where it is the cancer state of the plasma cell and plasma cells start synthesizing a specific type of immunoglobulin high concentration. When you do electrophoresis, similar to albumin, you will see a tall band standing on the gamma portion. On the gamma portion, a tall uh, band stands. That is called a monoclonal band. If you see a monoclonal band on the electrophoresis, definitively it's a case of multiple myeloma, which is cancer's condition of the plasma cell. Okay. One of the important exam question also. They'll show you this pattern of electrophoresis. Two bands. One on positive side, other is on negative side. In the gamma portion, if something is standing tall, there is a M band. M stands for the monoclonal. So monoclonal band is seen in the gamma portion. That is clinching diagnosis of the multiple myeloma. So you should never forget the multiple myeloma pattern. Okay. Multiple myeloma pattern. And last, if there is uh, say about uh, infections. Okay, infections you can see in sometimes. So whenever there is infection, definitely what will increase is your uh, proteins, which is in the gamma portion. So gamma globulin will be elevated in response to the infection. Like so. whenever there is infection. Okay, if this is the normal albumin, alpha one, alpha two, gamma. Okay. Alpha 1, alpha 2, beta, and gamma. So this is of normal. In infection, acute infection, okay, you might see albumin not different. Alpha 1, alpha 2, little, beta, and gamma. 
will also be increased. Okay, gamma will also be increased, but there is no tall steel graph. Okay, it will be doom only little larger portion. Okay, gamma portion is increased because there is infection. There is increased amount of immunoglobulins. So when there is increased amount of immunoglobulin, when you see pattern of this kind. Next, to see infection inflammation, I told you one more test in the blood. You do CRP, C-reactive protein. This is high. This is high. Gamma portion is little broad and high. And patient is complaining of something. Like for example, he is having some fever. I just give an example. Fever is there. You do a blood test CRP. You do electrophoretic pattern, dome shape, immunoglobulins are high. So definitely there is some infection and inflammation is taking place. Okay, inflammation is taking place inside the body, which is giving this kind of pattern in them. So this is about the various plasma proteins patterns, which will help you to understand the disease in a person. Okay, so that is about the plasma proteins. So with this, we'll be ending the today's session on plasma proteins.